Hello and welcome to another Game Nexus Serial video. This is going to be a little bit of a different video because as you can see here, I had ordered a box of Magic Spoon cereal. If you had seen some of my recent videos, I had tried the fruity and the cocoa and the maple waffle flavor. Well, actually, as of making this video, I don't have the cocoa video online yet, but I'll be putting that up soon. In fact, it might be around the same time this video goes online. But I tried those three flavors. I think I had bought um, I bought Fruity at Walmart. I might have bought Cocoa at Target. And then I, I'm mo most certainly sure I bought Maple Waffle from uh, Wegmans because it was the only store that carried it. But um, they had a deal where you could get their spoon and bowl and six boxes of cereal. It was a bit of a higher price, but it included their brand new um, banana muffin flavor and their brand new um, French toast flavor, along with four others. Uh, two of them, I believe, in here are the fruity and the cocoa, and I think it's frosted and cinnamon roll, which I have not tried yet. So all in all, four new flavors to try, two that I've already tried. But I just figured I'd kind of unbox this for you. So if anybody hasn't, like, had the whole Magic Spoon experience, this is kind of going to be what it is like when you order it. Now, I paid my own money for this, so I'm not sponsored. I'm not being bought. If I eat any of the flavors and think they taste horrible, I will say they taste horrible, and I won't... Well, I'll probably eat more because, you know, you, you paid money for it, and you're not just going to throw it away, even if it's not the greatest. That's one thing I can say about protein and healthy cereal. It doesn't always taste great, but um, it's better for you, and at least it's got protein. But let's just take a look here. It says, high-protein cereal that doesn't taste like the box, and it says magicspoon.com, and at Magic Spoon Cereal, I think maybe that's Twitter or X or whatever cockamamie thing they call it at this point. Knowing, knowing our luck, by the time you're watching this, they're going to change it to like something stupid like giraffe. But... um. Here it just says the same thing that the boxes of Magic Spoon cereals say. The high-protein, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, truly delicious, childlike, and, and treats for grown-ups. That kind of sounds like they're selling alcohol if they're saying they're for grown-ups, but I kind of get their point. The only thing I will say is what I've said in a couple of my review videos is the cereal tastes good. But unless the person you um, give it to has never had cereal, they wouldn't be fooled into thinking this is legitimately sugary cereal. Because you can tell a difference in the taste and the way the cereal pieces feel in your mouth. They're, the crunch is different. I won't say it's bad in any way. I would just say it's not... Um, it's, it doesn't feel like regular cereal. That's the only way I can really describe it. it, it it's not like, oh my god, what am I eating? It's just like, um, something is off here type deal. Okay, here we go. So we got the six boxes of cereal here. I'm just going to pull those out one at a time here and take a quick look at them. They're fairly warm because um, it was sitting on my porch for a few hours, but... Here is the brand new banana muffin. At least it's got a monkey on it, so it kind of goes with the banana theme. Still fairly minimalist art. It's not as bashed up as some of the boxes that I've had from the store. And I think that's the fruity. Yeah, there's the fruity, the same box that I had. Same fairly boring looking girl with glasses on a riding a bird. Maybe that's supposed to be a joke about Toucan Sam. And then here's Coco. The astronaut guy with an astronaut dog. I don't know, once again. And then here is... Oh, okay, it's peanut butter. It's not cinnamon roll. I was thinking it was cinnamon roll, but still, I haven't tried peanut butter. And since I have, at this point, tried Ghost Cereal, which I'm pretty sure hasn't been uploaded at this point of making this video, um, I'll have to compare it to that, because that's a peanut butter cereal. And I've heard people 
who like peanut butter cereal not like this one. So we will see. And then this one is frosted. And it has an old man riding a rabbit, I guess? Calories kind of like range from like 130 to 170 I saw on the peanut butter. And then finally, here's our other one, which is French toast, which is some kind of like dog holding a spoon and a Native American caricature, maybe. I'm not sure what I'm lo really looking at here, but at least with the... Uh, Peanut butter one, it's a uh, elephant, because, you know, elephants like peanuts. And with the, uh, with the banana one, there was a monkey on it. But the last thing is their, their uh, bowl set here. I'm going to take the box and put it on the floor. So we're going to take a look at this. Is This is kind of the, kind of the big item here that this whole idea was for. Initially, I was just going to get a set that included just the two flavors in the bowl set, but I figured I do like this cereal and I wanted to try more flavors, so might as well get a bigger variety. And I couldn't find it on their website, strangely enough, but this, um, I think this is called like the Brunch Favorites Bundle, was only available because I searched online and then somehow found it. And the link just works to their website. So you might need to do that if you want to find a big bundle like this. Or you can make your own bundle and then pay for the bowl and spoon separately. So let's see what we got here. Grow up cer The Grown Up Cereal Kit, it says here. And if I look inside here, many bowls are round. Not every breakfast is well rounded. And it says here on the top of the little brim here. You probably can't read that. 100% food grade silicone with no fillers or additives. Insulates hot and cold, negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Will not break, crack, chip, fade, or scratch. Microwave, freezer, and dishwasher safe. World's, and then the spoon. World's full, first cereal optimized spoon. Magical powers not included and in it's dishwasher safe. So let's take a look here. I know some reviewers said that the cereal tastes better on the spoon, but there is the actual magic spoon, if you will. I'll have in my next uh, video for magic spoon, it says it's stainless steel. I'll have to actually try out the magic spoon and see if it's, you know actually magic and then here is the bowl which i know a lot of people said it was a zebra bowl i guess now it just has little like candy things on it is my guess because i've seen some of them they're striped and they say they're iconic zebra bowl oh there's a zebra inside it i don't know if you can see that on camera but it's kind of like etched into the bottom of the bowl and it says hold on to the dream inside the box here. I'm going to just put this all back in here for now. Uh, I will wash the bowl and, of course, eventually use it in one of my videos here. I'm not sure how they had this. I think it was like this. And then let's go ahead and close the box. I want to see if there's anything else on this box. Nope, just a good old-fashioned... Made in China, distributed in New York, contents one bowl and spoon. And then that same, like, Twitter X giraffe thing at Magic Spoon Cereal. Shiny Magic Spoon logo on the front, and then magicspoon.com on the side. And just like you saw before, open sesame, and it has some, like, bright little stars. So, yeah, it's definitely a cool little thing. I'm going to go ahead and just for now put the plastic back on. I'm sure I'll take this off and uh, my wife will probably wash the bowl before I use it because she'll think that all the crazy chemicals will get me or something. But yeah, that's that's your lot for Magic Spoon here. I want to say this was like for the six boxes of cereal and the bowl set, it was like 
$79 or something like that. And I know a lot of you will say, oh, wow, that's way too much for cereal. But the thing you have to remember about this is this is not sugary breakfast cereal with all kinds of corn and and wheat and all kinds of stuff. This is quote unquote healthy protein cereal. And even if you get like, let's say premier protein cereal in the store, it's going to run you like $6 a box. So honestly, it's not that bad. And plus I could get the magic spoon in the bowl. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And as I said, in the future, you'll be seeing You'll be seeing more of my Magic Spoon videos. I think the Coco video isn't online right now at this moment, but it'll be posted either before this video or just after this one. And then, of course, I'm going to be trying the other flavors as well. I might even try, like, the banana muffin tomorrow for my breakfast, and then you'll eventually see it as one of my uploads. But... Look, all together, it looks like a nice little kit, especially if you wanted to try out the bowl that you see everybody who has on uh, YouTube. And I got to give them a little bit of credit. The box is at least something that's like a little bit entertaining. And it's not just like a plain old box, uh, brown uh, box that you'd get your unmentionables in. But that was my unboxing of the Magic Spoon. I think this is called the Brunch Favorites Collection of the these six boxes, including their two brand new um, banana muffin and French toast varieties. But yeah, that'll that's just my unboxing of this uh, whole Magic Spoon bundle here that I had ordered. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.